Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Wow, today we're about to dive headfirst into a controversy that's hotter than the summer sun. Furious Princess Kate, or should I say Catherine, the Princess of Sparks, is sending shockwaves through the monarchy with that absolutely insane message to none other than Meghan Markle. You won't believe the drama that's been brewing behind palace doors, and it's time to spill the royal tea. But stop right there before we disclose the juicy details. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Believe me. What's coming up next is worth waiting for. So Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, is gearing up for a visit to the UK, and the tension couldn't be higher. But what's got everyone's tongues wagging is the relentless firestorm ignited by Catherine Sparks herself. You won't find this news just anywhere. It's so explosive, you've got to dig deep to get a real story. Catherine Sparks, as it turns out, has drawn a line in the sand that's more like a canyon. She's standing her ground and not budging an inch when it comes to Meghan and Harry. But here's the twist. Prince William, Catherine's husband, doesn't seem to share her view on the matter. He's allegedly keen on extending an olive branch to Harry, but don't let that fool you into thinking this is a feel-good reconciliation story, because it is anything but. Contrary to the gossip mill, William isn't about to go all soft and fuzzy anytime soon. In fact, he's actively trying to thwart any attempts by Harry to mend bridges. He's got a message for Harry, and it's not a warm one. Forget about reconciliation, William made it abundantly clear that he's not about to forget the bombshell interview where they accused the British monarchy of being racist. Remember when he publicly declared that the royal family is not racist? Yeah, that's the stance he's sticking to. Catherine Sparks firmly believes that Harry and Meghan have already wreaked enough havoc within the family. To her, letting them back in would be like adding the fuel to the fire. And guess what? She's not alone. Comments and opinions are flooding in from every corner, and many people are screaming that Meghan should never step foot in the palace again. But that's not all. In his infinite wisdom... He has decided he wants to live close to Kensington Palace. Why? Well, insiders think he can help the monarchy by doing so. But here's the thing, the monarchy isn't having it. One royal expert couldn't have said it better. Harry, we don't need your help. Stay away. And if things weren't rocky enough, Harry decided to stir the pot even more into Catherine's role over Princess Charlotte's dress in the best-selling memoir. That move only drove a deeper wedge between the two couples. Now, could there ever be reconciliation? Well, it's not entirely out of the question, but don't hold your breath. Catherine, it seems, will never embrace Meghan back into the royal family. Frankly, Meghan just doesn't fit in. It's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. It's not going to happen. Perhaps some time apart is exactly what everyone needs. The wounds run deep, my friends, and they won't heal overnight. According to royal editor Sarah Houston, it's going to take an awful lot of time to mend the fences, if they can be mended at all. Right now, silence is the best solution. But here's the kicker. Meghan needs to understand that Catherine is no pushover. She's been through it all and isn't easily swayed. When Catherine felt the bad vibe from Meghan in the Queen's walkabout, it was game over. Case closed. Meghan was not getting another shot. In the end, Catherine's message to Meghan is clear. The palace doors are firmly shut and Meghan's chances of returning is as good as gone. Catherine Sparks isn't just strong. She's a rock-solid pillar in the royal family. And she won't be fooled again because the future Queen of England, she knows that letting someone like Meghan Markle back into the fold is just isn't fitting for the monarchy. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis.